Hey guys, in this video today I'm going to show you how to create a drawing for your fin slots. The purpose of this drawing is so that you can print it out, wrap it around your body tube, and cut out the slots where they need to be. So if you remember, the fin slots are, <laughs> it's exactly what it's, it is. It's slots so that you can put your fins through the body tube wall and glue them in. Um, so let's get started on our drawing. We're going to use Fusion 360 for this example. So over here, let's look at my fin dimension. And we're going to go over to fin tabs. That's going to be important for later. So let's start off by creating a rectangle on any of these planes. I'm going to use this plane, the XY plane for simplicity. And I'm going to draw a rectangle of any dimension for now. So this line right here, I'm going to dimension it so that it's the same as my root cord. My root cord is 5 inches, so let's make this 5 inches. The fin slots are going to be the same dimension as your fin tabs, so keep that in mind. Alright, this dimension is going to re represent the circumference of your body tube. So that is equal to 2 times pi times r, or it can be it's the same as pi times the diameter. So the diameter of my body tube, let's go over to body tube real quick, is 2.64. So we're going to multiply 3.14159 times 2.64. And that's equal to 8.2937. So let's dimension the bottom of this rectangle to 8.29379. All right, let's zoom out. Let this bring this rectangle over here. All right, now let's add in four rectangles. The reason I'm going to add in four rectangles within this big rectangle is because I have four fins, and these fins are going to be 0.25 in thickness and the height of it is going to be 2.79. So let's create those rectangles. So we know this needs to be 2.79 and the thickness will be 0.25 inches. We're going to do that four times. One, Awesome, so we have our four fin slots, which represent our fin tabs. So these dimensions are kind of messy, so let's move them a little closer so they look a little neater. It's good practice to stay a little organized, but sometimes I can get messy too. All right, so now let's look at where the tab position sits. So this represents the dimension of our fin tabs the thickness of it, the length of it, but see how I can move it around? That's not good. We need to dimension those. So, as you can see here, the tab position is 1.21 inches away from the root cord trailing edge. Now my trailing edge and root cord, the root cord and trailing edge meet right here, which is at the bottom of the body tube. This bottom line right here also represents the bottom of the body tube. However, if the the root cord trailing edge doesn't line up right here, you can go over to your centering rings and you can say, oh look, the centering ring sits one inch away from the bottom of the com parent component, which is the body tube. So if I change this to zero inches, you can see that my centering ring is right at the bottom of the body tube. If I change it to one inches, you can see it moved up one inch, this bottom of the centering ring moved up one inch, plus the thickness of 0.21 inches. 
Now your plywood is going to vary. My centering ring plywood is 0.21 inches. My fin thickness is 0.25 inches. Not every piece of plywood is not made the same. So you'll have to measure it and see what the thickness actually is and put it in here. But So that's how I got the number of 1.21 inches. So you can do it from either the setting rings or the um, fins, just depending on your situation. So let's go ahead and dimension that in our sketch. So we know that the bottom of the fin slot is going to be 1.2 inches away. We're going to do that for each one of these. 1.21. I luckily put those two at 1.21 already. <laughs> this one is also 1.21. Now if your dimension kind of, if you can't change it, all you have to do is double click on the number and type in the size that you, the dimension that you need. We're going to pan over and this is also 1.21 inches. Perfect. Let's zoom back out. Let's pan over. Alright, we're almost there. So now um, if you hit the escape button, you can hit, you can hit, keep hitting the escape button until the select button pops up. You can see that my rectangles are still moving left and right. So we want these rectangles to be evenly spaced with each other. So let's go back to our calculator. We know the circumference of it. Minus 4 times 0.25 is also the same as just minus 1. So let's do that. Alright, so we know the total distance is going to be 7.293794. And there's 4 gaps in between each of these, so we want to divide it by 4. Alright, so each of these spaces needs to be 1.823 inches away from each other. So let's dimension that. From this line to this line. Oh, I think I'm over constrained. All right, let's try again. From this line to this line is going to be 1.823 inches apart. And let's do it again from this line to this line. And again from this line to this line. All right. We're almost there. So now there's one last gap, right? Here's one gap, two gap, and three gaps that we've dimensioned. However, there's one more, and it's this this rectangle all the way over to this wrangle, rectangle. So you want to take the dimension that we just got and divide it by two. I don't know why that keeps happening. one point eight two three divided by two the reason you want to do this is because you're going to have this drawing you're gonna cut out the rectangle print it on print it out and wrap it around your body tube so the this right line and this left line will meet up when you wrap it completely around your body tube which we'll show you in a different video so there you go you have your fin slot so now Let's make it a solid piece. We're going to hit this extrude button here. We're going to click on the part and let's extrude it 0.25 inches. It doesn't really matter. I did 0.25 inches. This is a nice number. We're going to create a drawing now of the um, fin slot template that we just made. So what you can do is you can hit model drawing from design. I'm going to use B size paper just because um, this can get big sometimes so I'm just going to use B size for convenience. Then it can sit well on the piece of paper on a one-to-one -one scale which we want. 
and wait for it to load. So right now it's at a quarter of a scale, so let's change it to one. And then let's just click on here. Click OK. And there you have your fin slot um, guide or template. So later we'll show you how to cut this out and and wrap it around your body tube and cut the fin slots out. But right now we can save it as a PDF. I'm going to hit you want to hit all sheets, hit OK, and I'm going to save it as fins, fin slot example one. And then you can print it out later.